Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Alderman. I am so excited to be spending time helping you become a SharePoint 2016 collaboration expert. If you need to reach me throughout the course, my email is brian.alderman at cbtnuggets.com. If you want to visit www.microtechpoint.com, you'll see my speaking schedule as I speak at conferences around the world. And if you want to follow me on Twitter or connect with me on LinkedIn, you have that information as well. One of the beauties of becoming a collaboration expert is you become more effective. You become more efficient. You become more productive, which means you make more money. And that's one of the reasons I'm here is to help you understand SharePoint well enough to ask for that raise. And we're going to talk about several items in SharePoint that give you the power and the knowledge to understand SharePoint. We're going to look at both list and library configuration settings. We have several different types of settings we're going to go through. We're going to talk about how to navigate SharePoint to make sure you're moving around and getting access to all of the content that you need access to. We're going to make sure you know how to customize that landing page so you have the content you use most often readily available. We're going to look at permissions because the big thing about SharePoint is you can do a lot, but there are things you're going to bump up against. So I want to make sure you understand the permission levels and what you can do with those different permission levels. And also to make you more efficient, we're going to look at the integration of Office with SharePoint and how you can use components of Office to work with SharePoint. And in addition to that, we're going to help you expedite some of your manual business processes by looking at workflows to automate those business processes. We're going to look at creating a view, which allows you to focus on the content within a list and library that you're most concerned with. So you don't have to drudge through thousands and thousands of records. And then one of the big challenges we always have is finding information. We're going to talk about search in SharePoint and how you can use search to locate the content, not only from inside of SharePoint, but from websites, from file shares. And I'm going to guide you through this course to help you obtain the knowledge necessary to become a collaboration expert. I travel a lot. In fact, I travel over 100,000 miles over the last five, six, seven years. And in my travels, I always get asked, what do I do for work? And I explain to them I'm a trainer, speaker, author, consultant for SharePoint. Oh, I've heard of SharePoint. What is it? And I've got the perfect answer for your spouse or anybody else that asked you. It's a web browser based central repository of shared information that is security trim, which means I can't see everything out there. I can only see what I'm supposed to see. And we can collaborate on content, whether it be documents or items from anywhere in the world. Now, I made it sound very easy from an end user's perspective because that's what this course is all about. But as you can see in front of you, it's not that easy. There's a lot of components involved with SharePoint. The good news is when you're looking at this diagram, we only have to worry about the inside of right about here. That's what we're going to be focusing on here. We're going to have a subsite that we're going to be playing in. We're going to be working with list and libraries and content within those list and libraries. I do want to draw your attention to the fact that I may say that's a site feature. I may say it's a site collection feature. And with the permissions that you have, you can't change site features. You can't change site collection features. But as we share our time in this course, you're going to have enough ammunition to go to the site owner, to the site collection administrator, and ask for additional features or additional functionality. And that's my goal is to arm you with the information that you need to do your job successfully, be more productive, get that raise, and also know that the capability may or may not be there. And if it's not, you need to go talk to the site owner or the site collection administrator. And as you get more efficient with SharePoint, you might become a site owner. And guess what? We'll have a course on site owners. You might become a site collection administrator. We'll have a course on that as well. What we're doing now is laying the foundation as a collaboration expert to get you comfortable with all the bells and whistles of what SharePoint can do. At this point, you should be excited to get started. I have one more thing to suggest. Grab yourself a site, whether it be a SharePoint online site or a local site. Go create a brand new site if you have SharePoint installed already, so that way you can work along with me and you can practice the steps that I'm going through because you're going to see the same exact thing as I see as long as your SharePoint account has edit permissions. Let's get started by taking a test drive of navigation inside of SharePoint.